Hey everybody out there in the comic community world, and uh, we are here, and by we I mean myself, Chris, Mike, and Cody. Hello. With, How y'all doing? With some breaking news. Uh, DC has announced today that in April they are going to be canceling six of their ongoing series in their new 52 and replacing them with six new series. Now the reason they're canceling these six books is because these are the six books that are selling the least amount. Basically these are the six books that nobody's really picking up. As far as their sales go, these are the six books that they consider the lowest selling books. And they're going to replace them with a new six books in the hopes that their sales will rise, basically. And their excuse is they're releasing the six books that nobody's really reading to replace with six new books. Now, far be it for me to say anything about DC, because Lord knows I can rant forever, but I hope DC Comics knows they can have more than just 52 ongoing series. Because Marvel sure knows that. They have about 20. More than 52. So before we get into our opinions, before we get into any talk on this, let's talk about the six titles that are being canceled and the six new titles that are coming in in their place. Okay, the six titles that are being canceled are Blackhawks, Hawk and Dove, mm. Men of War, Mr. Terrific, OMAC, and Static Shock. And the six titles that they are going to be releasing in place of those six titles that they're dropping are Batman Incorporated, Earth 2, World's Finest, Dial H, GI Combat, and The Revengers. And those are the six titles that you're going to get in May, number one. Those are the six number ones that are coming in May. Now, looking over how we really feel about, you know, the series that are being dropped and everything like that, my personal opinion on all this is, it reminds me so much of wrestling. After every WrestleMania, the WWE would do some type of a draft pick, and they would be switching superstars or wrestlers from one show to the other. This makes it feel like they're taking, DC's to drafting out the six worst books, in their opinion, in their opinion, and putting in a new draft pick, six new draft picks, to take their place and to make their company... Uh, sell more and rise in, in um, sales and in enjoyment of stories. I have no idea where I'm going with this. But anyway, that's what they're trying to do. They're basically trying to sift out the stuff that isn't selling and put stuff out so all 52 of their books sell. And you know what? This leaves me uncomfortable because I feel like every several months, if a book doesn't sell as good as DC wants it to, I'm worried that they're going to cancel it. I'll always be nervous that they're going to cancel it and replace it with another new title because they're not willing to pass over the 52 books. Now, Cody, you're a witness. I said this in the beginning of January. I said, you know, Marvel has all these big events going on. DC's being way too safe. Something is going to happen. And what happened? The exact same, you, the exact same thing you predicted happened. Mm -hmm. And that's all I have to say about the six issues going and the six issues coming. Mike, what do you have to say on it? And I know you want to talk about Hawk and Dove because you've been reading that. You know, I could come up with the biggest why in my mind they're getting rid of Hawk and Dove. Yes, the ratings were low, but in my opinion, the stories were very interesting. I've enjoyed reading Hawk and Dove from issues one to now, and now seeing them getting rid of it, it's like, I'm reading a new comic book, and then in the middle of the issue, it's like a big slap in the face saying you just got it for just no apparent reason. Mm -hmm. Now, granted, I am going to still keep picking them up because I am enjoying it. And I've said so on uh, the Twitter account. Mm -hmm. But I just, I mean, I let out the biggest what when my brother told me this. And I'm like, whoa, you got to be kidding me. Yeah, I was going to jump on because... And I know Howler Mouse and Kirsten Bromstar are very upset that they're canceling OMAC. I was going to jump on board because I was getting interested with all the videos they were making about OMAC. Now I feel like, what's the point? I'll just wait for the hardcover because they're canceling the series anyway, and I think that's wrong. You know, DC should just add on to their 52. The point is, is that it's not necessary. Mm. And I'm in disbelief that 
that title came under the sixth hour being canceled because it, I don't even know what words or how I'm forming my senses here because I am just as shocked as maybe most people are, maybe yeah. most people aren't, but with all respect, I'm really going to miss Hawk and Dove and it was interesting. I just don't understand why they have to get rid of it. I'm... I don't, know. I don't know. That's all I have to say. So, Cody. Cody, what do you got on this? What's your take? <laughs> Not only is this a absolutely stupid freaking idea or plan that DC is doing, it's just it's a big slap in the face to anybody that's been collecting these uh, specific titles. Only at the end of the at the old you know the end of the road, just to be slapped in the face because the stories are going to get cliffhangered nine out of ten, yep. or they're going to be ended in a very stupid way, and it's just like all for spoiler alert, all for uh, another Batman issue, and it's just like wow, <laughs> yeah, and there's another Batman series starting up. Next month, All Batman right. Beyond. That's another one added to the plate. Mm -hmm. Just like how Marvel OD'd on Deadpool, now DC's way, taking it way too far with Batman. It's, it's unbelievable. Right. And not only that, aren't some of the new tiles that are coming out are almost the exact same things as some of the comics that are getting uh, cancelled? It's like you're replacing it with almost the same things that... Most people have been reading. Well, before you get into that, because I want to pick this apart. We'll pick this apart. But first, Cody, do you have any other, like, were you done? I'm good. Okay, so let's get to what you were just saying, Mike. Let's pick this all apart right now, okay? Okay, first off, let's look at the books that were dropped. Blackhawks and Men of War. Both books were doomed, in my opinion, from the get-go. I saw a lot of people pick up the number ones. And a lot of people say they're not coming back for the number twos. The stories just did not interest them. Nobody cared about it. Everybody was focused on Justice League, Superman, Batman, Green Lantern, and all the other superheroes. They did not care about any type of army book at that time. Granted. Mr. Terrific. Well, first of all, you guys have any opinion on those two books? Well, actually, I... Like, they weren't really that much of a read, I mean, from what I've heard about them, mm -hmm. but I would actually agree with what you said. Cody? Uh, I agree. Okay. Now, Mr. Terrific was another book that me and Cody, you talked about it. This book was doomed from the get-go also. How many people really want to read about Mr. Terrific? Not too many. No. Not at all. I saw about five reviewers that are still reviewing Mr. Terrific, and they're 50-50 on it. Mr. Terrific just worked for Justice, Justice Society of America. Nothing else. Even the tile itself. Yeah. I mean, from it day was, one, I knew it wasn't going to work It out. was before its time. Now, the two, the three shockers were Omax, Static Shock, and Hawk and Dove. Static Shock because, you know, you'd think DC would want to stick with the, the title that they were doing pre-Flashpoint and they brought it towards post-Flashpoint. I'm kind of surprised they did that. Um, Cody, you got Static Shock number one. Yeah, and although it was completely different, it's definitely, it, the, the, with the way they changed stuff, it's definitely for old school Static Shock fans, it, it would be something that you'd have to get used to. Granted, it wasn't the best, but that's not to say, you know, you could just instantly kill it off. I mean, you could have improved on it, made it a little bit better, and just done that. Just ha would have done that instead of just killing it off. I mean... Yeah, they didn't have to cancel any of these. They could have just added... It could be more than 52, like I said. It's got to be like, it's just 52 and nothing higher than that. This is DC playing it safe. I told you, Cody, right? I told you. You did. OMAC, I'm disappointed because Howler Mouse and Kirsten Bromstar got me very interested in it. And I was like, you know, I know a lot of people said when OMAC 1 came out that 
A few people mentioned that Dan Didio was destroying everything Jack Kirby did when he created OMAC. And I'm very interested in reading Jack Kirby's OMAC. And I probably will check out uh, trades on that. But still, I wanted to see this new OMAC, and now they're canceling it. What's the point? I'll just wait for the hardcover to come out. Might as well. And then Hawk and Dove, Mike, that was all yours. I know. I'm, I'm just really upset about this and disappointed because great artwork, interesting story just why is just running through my head just yeah that's all i really have to say i have nothing else to say about walk and dove hey all i'm just gonna say i'm sorry to interrupt yeah all i'm just gonna say is that the the two characters that i'm going to miss a lot that were number one in my readings of dc's new 52. yeah cody you have anything about hawk and dove or omac um, Hawk and Dove, you know, we've all heard was definitely a good read. Um, I got nothing on OMAC, though, but I'm sure people would, and there are people right now that are highly disagreeing with DC's decision. Yeah. All right. So we picked apart the, the uh, drops. Let's look at the, the ones that are coming in. Batman Incorporated. Grant Morrison's only, and I quote, because a lot of people have been telling me this, good book. This is what everybody loved back before, pre-Flashpoint, and I'm sure a lot of people are happy post-Flashpoint, but let me explain something to you guys. There are nine, at this moment, Batman and Batman-related, Batman family, comic books out there. Soon to be ten when Batman Beyond comes out and starts its ongoing series, which means there will be 53 ongoings from DC. Do we really need an 11th Batman book out of the DC 53 books? Meaning there's only 42 books that aren't Batman. And let me tell you something. Batman's in Justice League, 41. Batman's in Justice League uh, International, 40. You see the books with Batman? They're just adding up. So, 40 books that don't show Batman at all. They're going to be overdoing Batman a lot. I agree, I Cody. See. You said it. Deadpool is Batman in DC. Yeah. It's ridiculous. I'm sorry. So, I'm not interested in Batman Incorporated at all. I wasn't when it first came out. I won't be in the relaunch. Earth 2 is basically another word for Justice Society of America because that's exactly what Earth 2 is. It's Earth 2. It's a parallel Earth from the current day DCU where the Justice Society combats threats that will set them on a collision course with other worlds. Yes, I'm reading directly off the um, advertisement. So they're going to be going and traveling the multiverse, the Justice Society. I'm not a fan of Justice Society. So unless Superman of Earth 2 is part of Justice Society, guess what? I'm not going to be reading it. Just my opinion. Anybody else have any opinion on Justice Society? Mike, Cody? Earth 2... I don't think it should be necessary because it's really nothing to look. And forward. Earth Two has Superman and Batman, but those are different, I guess, right? Earth Two, Batman, and Superman. Just to appeal readers, they're probably. They, they oh no, those are Earth One. I'm Batman. sorry, my bad. Never mind. Those are Earth One. But yeah, I'm, I don't know. That's it. Cody. No comment. Okay. Next is World's Finest. Now this Cody, me and you can relate with. It's an ongoing that is going to satisfy two types of fans. The Huntress fans, like me and Cody, who've been begging for an ongoing for Huntress, and the fans that have been asking, where's Power Girl? Only, this is the disappointment. World's Finest is basically Huntress and Power Girl uh, get thrown out of Earth 2. We don't know how. They're stranded on the current day DCU, and they've got to now figure out a way to get back to Earth 2, which is an another Earth in the multiverse that is DC Comics. However, they can't. So one of them's coping. You know, now they got to figure out if they're going to cope with living in the regular DCU, or if they're going to figure out a way to get back to the old the Earth 2 DCU. Uh... This is definitely not what I meant when I said I wanted a Huntress book, and Cody, I think that's not what you went meant either. No, absolutely not. This says time travel. This says universe traveling. This does not have anything to do with Huntress being a crime fighter. Yeah, and once again, they're using time and traveling. Well, not time. They're using universes and traveling. Well, it's really just the whole thing of, of Majigar, of how they're doing this, you know. 
And the last three, I really can't say anything about. Dial H was an old series back in the 1980s. It was introduced in a uh, DC comic book. I think it was Strange Tales. And then it got uh, ongoing for a bit in the 80s. And then it was also in Batman Brave and the Bold in 2009. I never heard of it, and I know Mike hasn't heard of it. Nope. Cody, have you heard of it? Nope. So we can't say anything. GI Combat, really. Right after two of your army stories failed, Men of War and Blackhawks, DC, are you really releasing another book that involves army? The War That Time Forgot, along with a rotating backup story of creative teams, including The Unknown Soldier and The Haunted Tank. Is anybody interested in picking up GI Combat? Not, not me. I, no. I mean, you can hear those crickets in the background. Yep, exactly. And finally, The Revengers, which is a story that's spinning out of Teen Titans and Superboy. Now, let me read you the description. This series finds our four superpowered teens on the run and fighting against an organization that wants them to turn wants to turn them into supervillains. I'm sorry, but there's only one person from the Superboy book that had superpowers and wasn't revealing them. And let me tell you something, she came from Gen 13. So basically, The Revengers is DC's relaunch way of starting Gen 13 over again. Yeah, let's see if this comic book's going to lead to Project Nowhere. Might, might not. But basically, this is a retelling of Gen 13 with a brand new title. That's my guess. Don't kill me if it isn't when it comes out, but that's my prediction and my hypothesis of what the Revengers are. Out of all these books, there's only one book, well, really two books that I might grab, and that's World's Finest, because I wanted to see Huntress, and I want to like it, so I'm going to try it. And Dial H, after reading a few interviews about it, I might pick up issue one just to see what the heck it is, because I'm that curious that I need to know. But never would I get Batman Incorporated, and I'm getting all the Batman books. Never would I get Earth 2 unless Earth 2 Superman's in it. And never would I get G.I. Combat or the... Re I think I, did, I didn't say the Revengers yet. Or the Revengers. So I've only got two out of the new six that I'm even interested in. Cody, what about you? Absolutely none of them. None of them? None. For these six titles, getting rid of Hulk and Dove, none of them. I'm only interested in two, and I don't think I'm going to be getting Dial H after issue one. That's my opinion. World's Finest might make it beyond because I am a fan of Huntress and I want to see what's going on. But if it's as dumb as they write it, where it's people, basically Huntress and Power Girl are struggling to find their way back to Earth 2. Because they're stranded on the current day parallel uh, DCU, the real world, the parallel reality of Earth 2, which is our present day DCU. Um, if that's the whole story, I'm sorry, but it, it's going to get a drop after like issue 3, that's my opinion. Alright guys, so that was your breaking news and our take on it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, catch you guys later. Later guys. Take care everybody.